Good evening. Thank you for watching 10 News at 6. I'm Robin Wilhoyt. And I'm Brittany Bailey. Right now, we have team coverage as authorities search for the man accused of shooting two Blunt County deputies, killing one and wounding another. We will share the latest from court and how you can support Deputy McCowan's family. But first, we are digging deeper into the manhunt for the suspect. New at 6, investigators say this man, Kenneth Wayne DeHart Jr., shot and killed Deputy Greg McCowan and wounded Deputy Shelby Eggers. The TBI has named him one of the most wanted fugitives. 10 News reporter Vinay Simlot brings us up to speed now on the manhunt. Vinay. Rob and Brittany, authorities here in Blount County have been searching for that suspect, Kenneth Wayne DeHart Jr., for more than 90 hours while they grieve the loss of one of their own. Within the last few hours, we've seen other agencies come in, Newport Police, Knoxville Police, and Cock County Sheriff's Office, all here in Blount County, as authorities try to find the man who they say killed one deputy and wounded another. Days after the shooting that killed Deputy Greg McCowan, a manhunt and a deadline. I want closure soon. I want to go in that funeral Wednesday. And I have to think about this animal on the street that killed one of my deputies. On Thursday night, TBI says Kenneth Wayne DeHart Jr. was pulled over on Sevierville Road. The district attorney general says the original traffic stop was for erratic driving. DeHart dumped his car in the Wildwood area. The sheriff says he believes the suspect is somewhere in East Tennessee as law enforcement tries to find him. And what I can candidly say is the most coordinated law enforcement investigation with as many agencies as I've ever dealt with. Federal authorities, including the U.S. Marshal Service, FBI and ATF are involved in the search. The Blount County Sheriff's Office released photos and videos of investigators searching wooded areas for DeHart Jr. Investigators in the past have also used security cameras, phone data and license plate readers, says retired FBI agent Ricky Hill. Places that he's been, uh, who he is socialized with and try to build a pattern of what he might be doing at this moment. And they're asking for the public's help to find him. Strongly urge not to take actions on your own. Because remember, this guy is already considered armed and dangerous. As deputies try to find the man they say killed Deputy Greg McCowan before they lay him to rest on Wednesday. And authorities here in Blount County say if you see Kenneth Wayne DeHart Jr., do not try to engage him. He is considered armed and dangerous. Please call 911. And Vinay, investigators, they have leaned on those close to the suspect in the shooting just to try to find him. And we've seen two people now charged with being accessories after the fact. TBI Director David Roush over the weekend said somebody knows where he is and he says they're not going to stop until they find him. All right, Vinay Simlot for us live in Blount County. Vinay, thank you. Right now, authorities, as we have been mentioning, are still searching for Kenneth Wade DeHart Jr. And the reward is now up to $100,000 for information leading to his arrest. If you do have a tip in this case, you can call the number on your screen or you can just dial 911.